I wanted to create a video on editing files from the terminal in case you, like myself, are in a position where you have to make changes to a file that's already there. Um, this particular use case is because I found out that there are different server um, IP addresses to connect to for uh, connecting to the web lab uh, Linux remote access. The document that I got, you know, from going there in person a couple years back, I had a handout from them that had a list of IP addresses and it worked until, you know, maybe uh, the last two weeks or so. And then I found that, uh, well, they've, they've changed it. And so here's the link, uh, the web page that I'm at. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is edit my SSH configuration um, file, which is located at vim slash, sorry, no, tilde. Actually, okay. I have a tendency to use vim if I'm on a server, but today I wanna use Emacs, so let me backspace and like start over. So I have Emacs installed, but right now I have a GUI version um, like Emacs app itself. And instead of creating, um, sorry, instead of opening that version, I want to use it in the terminal right in this window. So to do so, I have to use the flags and W to stay within this terminal. And the file name that I want to edit is then the next thing that I want to put in here. And this is so that when Emacs opens, it opens with the file that I want to edit, not um, you know, asking a second step. So enter to get in there. And so this is the file that I already had. And I had created this maybe like last year or the year before some time ago. Okay. So let me just jump to line 10. Okay. And then, um, lowercase O to start inputting at the line below where my cursor was. And I will put a link here. Uh, new list found at, and then I'm going to paste the link that I found it at. Um, what I meant to do was switch over back to this tab. And what I want to do is just copy and paste these specific, um, you know, new IP addresses into my document so that I don't have to keep opening up the web page in order to look at the list. I could just have it within my um, ed uh, editing whatever interface here. Okay, so there is probably a way to insert um, um, multiple, uh, whatchamacallit, um, insert the same character in multiple lines. I'm gonna see if I could remember off the top of my head what that is. I think it might be uppercase, no, well, exit first to get out of the editing um, interface. I want to say, I want to guess it's shift uppercase V, lowercase, or yeah, lowercase J to, to get all the lines, and then control I. Okay, that says indent. So, okay, that was not it. Mm, was it control V? Let's try control V, J, okay. And then now let's type I to insert and let's try the hashtag. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna exit um, and then look it up real quick. All right. I have found what it was. It was control V to create a visual block and I'm using K to move upwards. And so this is my whole block that I want to insert at. And then now I press shift I for uppercase I. And then I type the text I want to insert, which is a comment symbol and a space to make it easier to view. And then I'm done typing the things that I want to enter. So I press escape and it commented everything for me. Okay, so let me just write that, you know, save it because I don't want to lose it. 
Um, okay, so then here's the things that I want to remove. So I think you can delete uh, specific line numbers, but what I want to do is just say shift V, J to move downwards. Um, and then you could use like a number like 2K to move upwards, 2J to move down, you know, the number of lines. And so here I'm going to use the letter D for delete. Okay. And here I'm going to delete that line, but then use uppercase P to paste it in at the line before my cursor. So, um, yeah, let's leave it like that. Okay. So let's save that. Okay. Now this was the old IP address that I had, um, from before. And um, I just want to make a quick point that I am using Vim shortcut keys, uh, key bindings, whatever the word that they use uh, to say this, because Doom Emacs uses the Vim the VI uh, keyboard shortcuts for a lot of the areas. And because I've already learned some of these, I'm just using what I already know. You could probably use Emacs specific key bindings, which is a lot of uh, pinky gymnastics is what they call it, where your left pinky has to type, you know, the control or the meta key as you um, have your fingers dance around the keyboard. So I'm just using the Vim keyboard shortcuts here. And let's say I want to delete from where my current cursor is to the end of the line. So I type in lowercase d and then the dollar sign. So lowercase d dollar sign deletes to the end of the line because dollar sign means end of the line. And here I want to add one of the new IP addresses. So let's try the first one on the list. 146, 245, 252, 28. So I'm just going to save that now. And you see how it has my username already at line nine, uh, nine. My username's at line nine and the host is at line eight. Okay. So these are key value pairs. And now this host is under a block that is BC web. So instead of me typing in K Chong at IP address, I type in SSH BC web because that's a nickname that I gave it. And that will allow me to SSH into um, the web server. So, so now let's take a try and see if that works. Yes, it does work. Um, here you could just type yes. Okay, so this looks like a good sign that it allowed me to connect. Okay, so my settings on the server is such that um, it will recolor the whole um, interface here. Now, I am already on the server, so you could see that I have the Soul 28. That is to say the exact you know machine, I guess, that I'm on. Um, so that's one way to recognize whether or not you've successfully connected. And um, once you're there, this is where you can try um, checking out if they have certain things, right? So you can check, um, do I have Git, which will tell you which path it's linked to the executable itself. And you could type in Git dash dash version to take a look at the version that is installed man git for manual page of the git and colon q to quit out of um, that interface. Some of the other things that you might need for the assignment is SVN. So we could just check, you know, where is it and the version. If you need to look at a specific version in terms of looking up documentation because every version might have slightly different, um, you know, function names or parameter number of parameters and type of parameters. Um, the other stuff we might need, let's see if we have, um, image magic. So I think convert is for image magic. Um, I'm just going to see if it is under this name. Okay. So that does work as well. And you can check if you have, so 
some of the other folder or other other directories. Um, all right, so you can see how you're able to um, take a look at what is there. Right. Okay. So that that gives you an indication of like navigating through. So I could show you what I have here, um, various things, and then if I wanted to uh, make a directory, I could um, I don't know make a di directory trial and error. I can move into that directory and you see there's nothing in there and I could use the touch command to say my readme right and then if I were to look at the contents it would be nothing so I'm just gonna take a quick look here to see what happens if I use Emacs and it may not have the same functionality as the one that I had locally because this does not use Doom Emacs at all. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, try typing this is some text. And then I want to uh, nope. So control X, control S will write a file. And then if I use control X, control um, C, that'll let me exit Emacs. But if you know Vim, same thing. You can enter into a file, edit it, um, save it. And then you could see you have a file and the tilde version at the end is because Emacs creates a invisible type uh, editing buffer type file. Um, you could probably ignore it. Um, and then uh, let's see if you want to navigate to, I don't know, we can see what else is there. Right. And uh, oh, the other thing that I wanted to see is if you have unzip. and zip yes you do have both okay so great um so it looks like you have everything you need for the assignments um you know programs that would be typically used um and then if you wanted to edit files on the ssh server you can as well what i typically like to do because we've all been through java before is create a very simple um, file. Uh, so it's hello world. If I didn't type the whole thing and I press tab, it will auto complete for me, which is great because I'm lazy like that. And if we do one, one liner, you can get that. And what happens is it creates the um, hello world um, compiled class.
Now, if you want to exit the server, this is where you use control D to exit your session. 